What's up guys, Lane Whitaker here from Grind City Media. Do you ever have one of those days? You come home, you're tired, you don't want to stand in a hot kitchen for hours, you want to get something on the table fast, something fresh, something delicious. In my house, those are a salad nights. So tonight's gonna to be a salad night. We're gonna dig through the refrigerator, see what we can find, put together something great. I'm gonna do it, you can do it with me. This is Pickle with Lang, let's do it. Today we are making the best salad ever. All right guys, so I went in the refrigerator, started poking around, I keep stuff when we order food, whenever I have stuff, leftovers, and I try to save it for occasions like tonight. So let's see what we can find. I, I found a thing of uh, mixed greens, a head of romaine lettuce, some bacon. We had chicken tenders the other night and I saved a couple. Uh, I found a corn on the cob. I found some cheddar cheese, half of a red onion, a couple slices of bread, and then some of the ranch sauce that came with the chicken tenders. We're gonna turn that into the dressing. All these things, I didn't really make, but we're gonna put them all together and make something pretty delicious. Everything's better with bacon, especially salad. I found a couple slices. I mean, this is from two different packages, so one's bigger than the other, but we're gonna cut these up into about uh, half an inch, maybe an inch pieces. and kind of make bacon bits out of this. I'm just gonna get them in a pan that right now is just sitting here on the counter, it's cold. I'm gonna throw it on the stove, medium heat, and every once in a while, I'll turn around, give it a little stir so they don't stick together. If it's a nonstick pan, about 10 minutes, we're gonna have bacon bits and we're gonna have fat, and we're gonna use the fat for something else. One thing that to me makes salads a little boring is when it's only one kind of lettuce. So I found two different things in the fridge. This one's like mixed greens. Wash my hands, this has all been washed. We're gonna do a couple of handfuls of the mixed greens. And then this head of romaine, we're gonna cut it in kind of decreasingly smaller pieces. So the thing we're going for with this salad is lots of different textures, lots of different flavors. So you want soft, you want crunchy, you want sweet, you want hot, you want salty, all these different things. And starting with this base of different kinds of lettuces mixed together is gonna to give us that. Next up, an onion. Uh, I like the onion because it gives it a sharpness, it's crunchy, it gives it a nice flavor. If you don't like onions, leave it out. You could put carrots, you could do endive, whatever you want, but I'm gonna use this onion. Um, I'm gonna cut off the ends. There's the root part. You could save that for stock, something else. And I'm gonna cut it relatively thin here. That's a kind of weird looking piece, I don't want that. I'm gonna cut them into little thin kind of rainbows. And flat end of the onion's awesome because it means it's not gonna roll around and hard to cut, you might cut yourself. Set it on the flat end. Let the onion help you cook. Okay, now these guys, I'm just gonna break them up all in the salad. Okay, I found this ear of corn in there. Now, whenever I grill corn, I usually grill a couple extra ones, put them in a plastic bag, leave them in the fridge, use it for salsa, whatever else. Um, this one's uncooked. I'm gonna leave it uncooked, just raw corn. It's gonna taste great. Um, the one thing with corn is it's kind of hard to cut it off the cob. Sometimes you'll see on the cooking shows, they take an upside down bowl, put it in another bowl, they cut it and the corn flies all over the place. I learned this trick from the god, Jacques Pepin. Take the knife, put it on an angle, and just kind of go in like this. They're not flying everywhere. It's just falling right down into the salad. So I'm gonna peel this whole ear of corn. You can see how awesome that looks. And we're gonna throw this in the salad. Next up, we got the chicken. If you don't have chicken, you could use canned tuna. You could buy one of those whole roast chickens at the store, shred it apart with your hands. The kind of point of this is just use what you have around. Even if you don't have fresh corn, just I keep a can of it in the pantry just for situations like this. So for this chicken, I'm just gonna kind of roughly dice it into pieces that are bite-sized because you want, it's not perfect and that's what's great about it, but you want a bite of it with every bite of the salad. I also found this piece of cheddar cheese in there. 
It's gonna give it a little creaminess. I'm just gonna use a box grater right on top of this and grate this piece in there. By the way, if you have a choice between this and buying like that pre-grated stuff, buy the whole one. The pre-grated stuff has some chemical on it that keeps it from clumping together and it's just weird and it saves your refrigerator for six months. I'm not sure anything should stay in the refrigerator for six months. So just buy a big piece of it, use this thing, it'll be great. Everyone loves croutons and I like to make them from scratch. At the farmer's market the other day, I bought a loaf of bread, had a couple slices here left over, cut them kind of thick, and now I'm gonna cut my own croutons. I'm gonna cut these kind of in like batons. You could even just tear these into bigger pieces, whatever size you want them. Like, see how that's falling apart? Great, I don't care. And I'm also gonna make more croutons than we need for the salad because I have a seven-year-old who might not even eat the salad and might only eat a plate full of croutons. So I always make extra croutons. Why not while you're doing it? Okay, the bacon's done, nice and crispy. We're gonna throw that in the salad once it cools off a little bit. I don't wanna melt the cheese or anything. And we have all this lovely fat left in the pan that we rendered off from the bacon. So I'm gonna leave that fat in there. And I'm gonna grab this bread and a big handful. And it's gonna soak up the fat because it's so burned up. But I'm gonna put this in there. I might put a little olive oil. Just kinda help it along. It's on medium heat. I'd say about five minutes, it's gonna be nice, crispy. I'm just gonna keep tossing it, not let it get too uh, burned on any side. Maybe, I don't even think we need to season it because the bacon's got so much salt. Okay, I took that ranch dip that was really thick and thinned it out using a little bit of water and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You know, when you're, the dipping sauce you get at a restaurant is kind of thick and gloppy and supposed to stick to it. This you want to be a little bit lighter. You can do that with just a little bit of water and vinegar and it's gonna make it taste great. Almost ready to eat. I'm gonna use my favorite kitchen tool, the best tool I have in the kitchen, the one I use more than anything else. Clean hands, I washed them. I'm gonna use these to mix up the salad. We have this bacon, it's gonna go in and then the salad dressing is gonna go in. And I'm not gonna do all of it. You can always add more, you can't take it out. So I'm gonna start with about a, two thirds of it. And now I'm gonna toss this salad just with my hands. Try to get it all mixed up, get a little bit of that dressing on everything. You want to make sure you get a bite of all this goodness in every bite that you take. There's a clump of cheese, I'm gonna break that up. And I think that looks pretty good. Made a little bit of a mess, but way less of a mess than I would have if I tried to use tongs or a fork or something. So there's that. I'm gonna get a handful of these croutons, kind of throw them on top. Now I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna eat. Before I take a bite, my camera person was like, wait a minute, you pour the dressing on and you use your hands to mix it up? And I was like, yeah, you do. That's how you mix up a salad. That's the best way to do it. You can use tongs, you can use a fork. Restaurants, they, chefs use their hands. People use your hands, use them, they're great. Wash them, use them, that's how you're gonna make it. The best mix of stuff you can. Time to eat. I got a fork, I got a salad. I'm just gonna go right in, get a bite, and try to get a little bit of everything. And let's see how this goes. Mm. Right away I got the onion. Crispiness of the crouton, the chicken a little chew, creaminess, cheese and ranch, sweetness of the corn, crunch from the lettuce, from the onion. Man, that is really good. A little bacon in there too. That is the world's best salad. Well, if you ask me, I made it. It's the world's best salad. We made it really super easy on a weeknight. You can do it too. It barely even turned on the stove. This is Cookman Lang. We made the world's best salad. You can do it. I did it. Let's do it together.